This video lecture is regarding introduction to regular expression under the course formal language and automated theory. This is PNV Narsuraju, assistant professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, SR Karinjan College, Bimbar. The objectives of the video lecture are to understand and construct the regular expressions. Regular expressions. The language accepted by finite automata are easily constructed by simple expressions called regular expressions let sigma be a finite set of symbols and let l l1 and l2 be the set of strings from sigma star now the concatenation of l and l2 is denoted by l1 and so l1 l2 is equal to x y such that x is belonging to l1 and y belongs to the l2 for example L1 is equal to 0, 1, double 0, L2 is equal to 1, 0, triple 1. So the concatenation of L1 and L2 will be L1, L2. So here the strings will be 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. And the next string is 0, 1, double 0. 0, 1, double 0. So the next string is double 0, 1, 0. The next string is four zeros followed by one. We define L power zero is equal to epsilon, L power one is equal to L, and L power two is equal to L concatenation, and so on. L power i is equal to L concatenation, L power i minus one. Clean closure. A clean closure of L is denoted as L star. So L star is nothing but union of i is equal to 0 to infinity L power i or it is represented as L power 0 union, L power 1 union, L power 2 union, so on up to L power infinity. Positive closure. The positive closure of L can be represented as L power plus. Here the positive closure of L is equal to union of i is equal to 1 to infinity l power i or it can be written as l power 1 union l power 2 union so on up to l power infinity so here the difference between clean closure and plus 2 closure is the clean closure starts at l power 0 but the positive closure starts at l power 1 for example if l is equal to 0 comma 1 we need to find some L star. So how to write the L star? L star is nothing but L power 0 union, L power 1 union, L power 2 union, so on up to L power infinity. So first we need to write L power 0. L power 0 is nothing but epsilon. L power 1 is equal to simply nothing but L. That is 0 comma 1. So L square. So what is L square means? It looks like some L power i. What is L power i? L power i is nothing but L concatenation L power i minus 1. Means it is L concatenation i minus 1. Here i is 2. So what is a i minus 1 means? 2 minus 1 that is 1. Means L concatenation L. So L square is equal to L concatenation L. See, can simply concatenate L with L. So we will get the strings 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, double 1. So next one is L power 3. Simply it is L concatenation L power I minus 1 means 3 minus 1 that is 2. So now concatenate L to a L1 that is nothing but L3. So L3 is equal to L concatenation L2 and the strings will be triple zero, zero zero one, zero one zero, zero double one, one double zero, one zero one, one one zero, triple one. So in this way we can construct the clean closure for L. So next you construct the L power 4 and so on up to some L power infinity. So now finally we will get the L power star that is nothing but epsilon 0 1 double 0 so on. so like this way we need to calculate the clean closure for the line 
So let epsilon be a alpha wave. The regular expression for sigma can be defined recursively as follows. So phi is a regular expression denoting empty set. Epsilon is a regular expression denoting the set epsilon. For each symbol a in sigma is a regulated expression denoting the set a. If R and S are regular expressions denoting the language capital R and capital S, then R plus S, R concatenation S, R clean closure are regular expression denoting the sets R union S, R concatenation S, and R clean closure. The regular expression for 0 plus 1 will denote either 0 or 1. In the same way, 0 plus 1 whole star denotes the set of all binary strings. It may be epsilon also. Example, write a regular expression which denotes every string and with double zero. Means the ending of the string should be double zero. So simply you can write it as 0 plus 1 whole star followed by double zero. So the 0 plus 1 whole star means nothing but set of all binary strings. So after that, we are concatenating the set of all binary strings with double zero. Means ending will get the double zero. Next example, write a regular expression that begins with one and ends with zero. So the string beginning should be one and ending will be a zero. So it can be written as sub one followed by zero plus one whole star and zero. So means the beginning is one. And next, the set of all binary strings, that is 0 plus 1 whole star, and next followed by 0. Now, so what does the regular expression 1 plus 0, 1 whole star will denote? So, simply the strings generated by 1 plus 0, 1 whole star are some epsilon 1, 1, 0, double 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, double 1, 0. 1, 0, 1, and so on. In this way, it can generate some different strings. So, if you see here, all the strings are beginning with 1, and if you identify clearly, here there are no two consecutive zeros. So, the language of this uh, regular expression will be set of all strings beginning with 1 and not having two consecutive zeros. In the same way, if you take one more regular expression that is 0 star, 1 star, 2 star, it denotes nothing but set of all strings which contains any number of zeros followed by any number of 1s followed by any number of 2s. Sum. The summary of this video lecture is regular expressions will represent the language expected by finite automata. And, uh, we can construct regular expressions for different languages and we can identify the languages of regular expressions also. Thank you.